When you think of the prophets whose writings appear in the Old Testament, who do you think of? I suspect that you, like me, probably think of those who are called the major prophets, like Isaiah or Jeremiah or Ezekiel. And throughout the year, the church gives us lots of readings from them. But what about those who are called minor prophets? Hi, I'm Father James Kubicki, and today in our daily Mass readings, we're in the middle of three weekdays of readings from the prophet Micah, who was a contemporary of the prophets Isaiah, Hosea, and Amos. Matthew quotes a prophecy from Micah to show that the Messiah was to be born in Bethlehem. It goes like this, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. The readings at Mass today don't use that quote, but they do show another that a lot of people memorize and use as a word to carry around in their mind and in their heart during the day. It goes like this. You have been told, O man, what is good and what the Lord requires of you, only to do the right and to love goodness and to walk humbly with your God. That's the New American Bible translation that we use at Mass. And another translation, the New Revised Standard Version, goes like this. He has told you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God. Doesn't that make a lot of sense? If you do what is right and just, if you love goodness and kindness, then you will, one day at a time, walk with God. Or rather, God will recognize you as a close friend because you share the same values, and He will walk closely with you.